Security is particularly important in accounting, and accountants will restrict access to company files in two ways. The first is that the accounting program is often password protected, and each person who uses it has a user ID and a password before the company file can open. The second way in which you can restrict is to just have users be allowed to access certain parts of the accounting data. So that, for example, you can restrict a user to processing payments, in other words, to use purchase orders, receive inventory, and enter bills, pay those bills. And you could have a, another user responsible for the sales, so that they would create invoices and receive payments. And then you could have a third user who would be responsible for the payroll. In other words, they would enter time on the payroll and be responsible for paying the employees and paying the liabilities. In order to do this, you first of all go up to the company, select the company, and here we are, set up users and passwords in the menu. We're going to set up a user here. You can see at the moment we have an admin user, and if we view that user, you can see that the administrator has access to all areas in QuickBooks. Press the leave button to close that down. An administrator would normally require a password, but since this is a demonstration program, we haven't put a password on. Let's, however, add a user. And we're going to call the user admin2. And we are going to use a password of 2011. Confirm the password to 011. And we're not going to add the user to the license. This is just a demonstration program. So we go to next. We will give the admin to access to all the areas of QuickBooks. Are we sure that we want to do this? Yes, because we're showing how to set up another admin person. Now we get to finish. Okay, so we now have two users. Admin, which is logged with me, and I'm logged on at the moment, and an admin too has the same rights. Now it's going to add another user. What we're going to do here, we're going to add a second user. And we will give another password, and in this case, I'm going to give the password of Kent, so I remember that. And this time, I'm not going to give the user all the access, I'm just going to pick up selected areas of QuickBooks. So I'm going to go next, and here we are, we will select areas, and this person will be able to do transactions only will not be able to carry out other parts so I'm going to next right so which parts they get to have are they going to have purchases and accounts payable yes we'll get them doing purchases so this is going to be our purchases clerk if you like so next checking and credit card no access Inventory, no access. Time tracking, no access. Payroll, no access. And go all the way through. They can change and edit transactions they're involved in. But not before certain dates. And that shows you the level that they've got. So I'm going to finish with that. So there we have now the person set up basically to do our purchases. Right, if we want to take a user out, we simply take take admin 2 out, and that is to delete the user. Yes, we can delete that because I'm signed on as the administrator. So this then is our method of controlling how the various users are going to access QuickBooks. And the requirement will now come up to log on. So what I'm going to do is say I'm going to close that. We are going to close QuickBooks to exit there. I want to open QuickBooks 
again. And this is David Hopcroft. And at this point, it comes up and it says, we need a password to log into the co company. I'm the administrator. I haven't set up a password. So if I click OK, it should just let me in now. And let's see if it does. And there we are. Normally, of course, I would have a password for that. Thank you.